All right, guys, what's up? Um, the day before our party, it's Friday. Uh, oh, first off, new glasses, finally. Um, so my old ones, if you remember, they were like the thicker, you know, kind of like gray frames or whatever. They were like plastic. Um, I really liked them, but like the older they got, like I feel like they just kind of looked like too small for my face. And they would definitely leave indents like on the side of my face because I do have a big face. Uh, went to the eye doctor, got another eye exam. This was like Monday I went, and today's Friday, and I already got the new ones. That's like crazy. Normally they take like two plus weeks. But uh, I got these ones, they are Stature? Stature eyewear? I don't know if that's like name brand or something, but they were like the premium priced ones, of course. But uh, they're like super lightweight. They're like this like shiny gray, kind of like metal. Uh, I really like them. They, they're bigger too, they fit my face a little bit better. And then I got some Ray-Bans, I got some sunglasses. Uh, so they're like kind of like a gray frame with like a blue arm. And then I got like the matching gray uh, like lenses or whatever. I had to make this clip real quick to add in here. Those Ray-Ban sunglasses I got, I hate them. Like those frames are like the most expensive ones they had there. And I got them at like a really good discount because of my insurance, thankfully. Obviously I wouldn't have paid that. I think, I want to say it was like 200 bucks or something like that for the frames. And I paid like a fraction of that. But those frames are so cheap and flimsy feeling. Like, these are like, you know, some of their more like premium frames or whatever. But like those Ray-Bans that I got for the sunglasses, I feel like I'm going to break them every time I open them. Like, it's just cheap plastic and then like, they don't fit right. Like, I feel like they're kind of like crooked. Definitely wouldn't recommend them. Um, okay, so anyways, though, back to the party. <sighs> so much stuff. You guys saw like all the music stuff I got. Um, phew. So in case I was sitting there, I'm like, okay, if people actually do want a karaoke, like you need like the music or whatever, right? Like, you know, with the word, like you need something to like show the words and then you don't want the music having words. Cause then that kind of just overpowers it. So I'm like, what can I do? I'm like YouTube, all kinds of karaoke songs and you know, cool. So problem solved. But then I'm like, okay, my iPad's going to be like sitting on top of the subwoofer and you're going to be like, you know, out here or whatever. So I found this sweet iPad stand on amazon it's like metal it's really heavy duty it's a tripod um the three feet fold in at the bottom and then it's got like you know these little adjustment screws and you can like make it taller and lower and you know it tilts towards you and stuff like that really cool so problem solved with that and then i was like okay if we're doing karaoke like i'm just streaming audio through bluetooth but i'm like okay if we're doing karaoke bluetooth has a little bit of a lag so you don't want that so ordered a long rca cable to run to that oh so then um, we have these lights that you guys probably saw me talk about, these, like, LED pods. Um, I just have them propped up on this thing because I wanted to see what they look like. But these just, like, throw light, like, up at the wall or, like, wherever you want them. But I wanted to put them, like, down on the floor and use them as, like, up lights, which is kind of, like, it'll just make the wall glow. And we're doing pink and purple, so, like, every other one is going to be pink and purple. Um, I've got six of them right now, so I've got four for the wall. Uh, we want to do two on our like gift table or whatever the heck you call it you know where it's got like our pictures and like little thing you sign in on and whatnot like the card box that people get us a card or anything uh, i want to do one pink on one side and purple on one side and then i also want to do one uh for our, like our photo backdrop thing because that curtain's white so it'll look really cool and vivid with like different colors and then have a little remote so people can change it to whatever they want and then i was like oh shoot i need to order two more so i ordered this four pack these one like all the other ones you plug them in individually into the wall and then you control them individually so they can all be the same color they can all be different colors you can have one plugged into this outlet one plugged in over there on that outlet these ones are really cool like their shape and design like they're a lot more small but one plug powers them all so eat they're like daisy chain so like this plugs into the wall and then this goes to the next light and then same thing with the next light. The next light has the input coming in and then the output going to the next light. And they can only be one color. All four are the same color. So they're kind of cool, but like not for what I want. So I ordered another set of the big ones. Um, they're supposed to be here tomorrow, which is the day of our party. If Amazon shows up at like three or four or something, that would be perfect. Um, if not, I'll probably just cancel it and just, you know, get my money back. But last minute, so I've just been ordering like random cords I need and stuff, you know, just some extension cords in case we need them you know power strips which is how i use the how i did the lights and then we got like our center pieces right here and of course you know i'll i'll get video tomorrow and show you guys all this stuff but uh last minute i ordered this thing 
and I absolutely love it. So please don't mind the mess. Like literally I have been, I, I'll get to this, but also like our house is just trashed right now because we have things everywhere for this party, but this is what we're talking about right now. So this is something my mom got us actually right when we came back from, uh, Florida from our wedding. She had this, uh, you know, obviously we had to get our own pictures for it, but, you know, it's really cool. So we're going to put that on the table. There's another, you know, cute little thing behind it or whatever. Uh, we got that Mr. and Mrs. thing. So I've seen these things, like, online, like, it's like a little easel thing, whatever the heck you want to call it. And then, you know, you put your photo in it. And then, so what happens is, like, you have these all scattered on the table. And then somebody comes up, writes their name, and then they drop it in there and you know i mean i guess i'd probably try to shake it around to get them to like look normal but you know what i mean anyways though people write their names on there it's like a guest book it's really cool we get to keep it forever and then when we're done with it you know it like hangs on the wall so we can hang it up like a picture you know i love it it's awesome um i went with one of the cheaper ones because some of these were like 50 60 70 80 bucks and i'm like uh you know we don't we weren't gonna get this originally i'm just ordering it last minute because i think it's really cool uh let me go with the cheap one read the reviews and all the stuff people were complaining about i was like that sounds like an easy fix so um most people complained about not knowing how to put this like the stand together because you know like you screw it together and then you got two screws back here i mean it's super simple if you know, I guess, I, I don't know, like, I'm not saying it, like, in a, like, a demeaning way, like, oh, people are stupid, but for me, it was super simple, um, there were literally directions with pictures, like, I don't know how much easier it could have got, but, uh, another thing people were saying was, the hearts don't fit, you know, the little slit up there, and then the pictures don't fit right, so I found that out the hard way, I don't remember what size picture this was, uh, I think, like, 11 by 18 or something like that, and this thing is supposedly, like, 11 by 17, or, 12 by 18 i don't know i don't freaking remember but anyways all i had to do was trim about half an inch off each side of the picture and everything else looks good like there is a tiny tiny you can't even really see it in the video maybe if i put the camera the other way tiny little area where you can see like the white but honestly like if i would have moved the picture down like two millimeters you wouldn't see that um so it's like a normal picture frame like you take the back out you put the picture in there and then you close it the issue with that is the picture doesn't sit flat because there's a gap because these hearts got to fit in there um the issue i was having is the picture was actually like blocking the hole so i'm like well, what can i do i'm like i can't tape it because these tolerances are so tight like there's no way i'll be gonna be able to get like tape around that well as you can see i did right here um got my old shipping tape uh, pretend that doesn't say priority mail because this, this is obviously not priority mail Shh. so then i was like oh i ordered this stuff like 10 years ago i never used it it's like spray adhesive for like a headliner for your car like you spray it on there and then like you can stick the fabric up or whatever it's like the professional stuff i was like perfect let me figure out how to use it i've never used it before and i'm like watch me ruin this picture or watch like watch this stuff like somehow interact with the picture and like you know make it like ruin it or something luckily it didn't um, I sprayed it on there, you let it sit for like five minutes, and then you just, you know, stick it together. So I ended up forgetting, I let it sit for like almost 10 minutes, I was like, oh shoot, let me get back to that. So I stick the picture on there, the bottom kind of sets down as I'm trying to like line the top up, and then it's like stuck like glue. So I'm sitting there trying to like peel it off without like crimping, crimp, crimping, crimp, no, crimping? I'm trying to peel it off without crimping the paper at the bottom, uh, not the paper, but the photo, and i just like it was so close to like having a big crease creasing that's the word i was looking for it was so close to having a crease but luckily i peeled it back up and like that stuff is like super glue like once it made contact like game over so i ended up second try getting it on there nice and straight uh like i said like i could have put it down probably like two more millimeters but once you get the hearts in there like you literally aren't gonna see it anyways also you know most people aren't gonna be like you know staring at it like glue but it's really cool and then it comes with this thing so it's like another little easel whatever and it's just i like it because it's you know like this wood theme i don't know it just kind of looks nice but it's cheap you know but this goes on the table you know please sign a heart and drop it into the frame so we will never forget our loved ones who came and it's cool you know we'll bring like a little marker or a couple pens sign your name 
and drop it in. So anyways, so the next problem, so I, I solved that. Um, and then the next problem I had, as you can see, this hole is a little bit rough. Some of these hearts are really thin and they fit in there just fine. Some of them are twice as thick as the other ones and they would go in about this far and then get stuck. So I had multiple different tools. I had a wood chisel. I had, you know, like a, a box cutter, whatever. I had an X-Acto knife. I had sandpaper. And I had Dremel attachments because I was like, oh, if it's too small, I'll just Dremel it out. Well, I have no idea where my Dremel's at. I'm pretty sure it broke. But I'm sure now that I don't need it, I'll find it right away. So anyways, after literally like over an hour of poking and prodding and cutting at this hole, I got it big enough. So I put the picture back in for a test run. I grabbed all of these hearts. So I'm like, I'm putting every single one of these in there to make sure they all fit. Because like what was happening was even after I worked on it for like 45 minutes, there was like one out of every three would like go in like this far and then get stuck. So like you would have it in there like that and then like you wouldn't be able to get it in. So like it would have to be stuck there till the next person like pushed it in. And then I sanded a little bit more, you know, got a little bit more open. And then the issue I was having was that the picture, which is gonna be really hard to see, I do apologize. The picture is on the back side here. You can kind of see it like where my fingernail is. There was just the slightest bit, like just not even a millimeter of overhang where it was kind of sticking out. So what was happening is when some of these would go in, it was actually pushing on the top of the picture, which was kind of like, you know, crinkling it or creasing it like forward right at the top. So then I'm like, okay, let me get like some electrical tape. Cause there is like a little bit of a lip, you know, so I can tape it or whatever. And you won't see it, you know, through this. Uh, I couldn't find electrical tape and thank God, because that's kind of thick. I found this stuff. This is like clear mailing tape from the post office. And as you can see, like comes out here, but like I taped like, it's like right here and then it wraps around, you know, the backing or whatever. And every single one that didn't fit before fits in there smooth as glass now. Really happy about that thing. Shelby loves it. I surprised her with it. Um, like I said, those are our centerpieces. So they're like, you know, pink and purple vases or whatever. And then we've got, you guys, it's a mess. I, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but Jesus. Uh, more cords. Um, the tickets, so for the bar, um, actually, I'll go, I'll, I'll get to that later. I bought a bunch of these butter mints. I don't know if you guys have ever had those. They're delicious. They're minty, you know, they make your breath, you know, smell good and whatnot, but they're also, like, really good. Um, so I bought these. We're gonna put, like, you know, a dish over by, like, by the dessert so you can grab a couple. Um, but back to the centerpieces. So we got these little, uh, battery candles. I love these things. Turn them on kind of flickers so it literally it looks like a real candle if you don't stare at it it looks real so we got a couple of these for each table and then next to our like our card box you know that table we got three of these bigger ones so they're they're three different sizes and these ones actually like um this little thing moves around as you can kind of see and it like it looks like a flickering you know like flame so that's really cool okay so tickets we got you know pop too a ton of pop for people who don't want to drink Got the Mountain Dew, Pepsi, Coke, and Dr. Pepper. And as you can see, this is like, this is all new too. This is all from earlier. But uh, yeah, like all this, just, just it, it's everywhere. But tickets. So it is a private club. Um, it's a boat club. My grandma is a member there. My grandpa was too, you know. But you know, unfortunately, he passed away last March. Um, she doesn't really go there anymore because, you know, obviously they don't have their boat and, you know, it's just probably hard to be there because, you know, that's where she spent so much time with my grandpa. But so that's how we were able to rent the place out. Um, but the thing is, their bar is we're doing a cash bar. Some people probably call it cheap. We're already in this stuff a lot of money, a lot more than we anticipated. Like we thought this was going to be like a four or five hundred dollar party, but it's been way more. But that, I mean, that's by choice. You know, we keep ordering stuff or hoping to have you know a blowout blast but uh the bartenders there like with their liquor licenses they're only allowed to sell to members i guess they used to kind of like slide on that like you know if you're in there and you're over you know you're you're of age what's the big deal but i guess um the liquor committee whoever 
goes around and like worries about that stuff has recently like been cracking down on that and one of the one of the boat clubs that's not too far away actually got busted um somebody was able to just like walk in the door during a party and not be a member not only not a member but not you know at the party like they just walked in the front door and like went to the bar and bought stuff i guess I, that to me that's weird like if you're of age like what's it matter but i guess there's all kinds of strict laws but they got in severe trouble so all the boat clubs are like cracking down on it so just the way it works it's simple you buy tickets for my grandma because she's the member and uh there's also two other people that are members so i guess they could sell tickets too and basically the way it is like your tickets are your money so like you pay her for the tickets um it's three dollars for a bottle beer and three dollars for a liquor drink um three bucks um so basically it's like you buy one ticket for three bucks for my grandma and then you take that one ticket to the bar you exchange it for a bottle of beer or you know a liquor drink whatever and then at the end of the night then that's basically just so they know that like everybody there is with us basically um which again to me like is kind of like not a foolproof plan because anybody could just walk in and be like hey how do i buy a drink you know because everybody there has to like learn that you know so they're gonna be like oh it's super easy just go talk to brian's grandma you know that's her over there and you know she's not gonna know like if they're there with us or not so i don't know kind of a weird system but then at the end of the night the bartender you know counts up like okay i got you know 100 tickets so that's you know three bucks a ticket that's 300 bucks that my grandma pays the bartender um that's what we got the tickets for and i'm trying to i think you guys have seen pretty much everything else um like i said all those lights we got we got some oh we got that photo booth thing i'll show you guys that at the party it's just like a big it's like two tripods and like a bar that goes across and we drape these like white it's like a cloth you know but it's like a photo backdrop or whatever and then we got these like flower things they're like it's like garland you know we can like drape around it um got a little selfie tripod thing for the photo booth like it's or you know we assume people are going to take selfies but also if you have like a bigger family or you know have a lot of people in there and you want to do like a nice looking picture a little selfie sticks gonna be right there or whatever um hopefully people know how to turn their timer on their phone or use it but um you guys know my light rig so these aren't actually staying up there i just wondered like if it would look cool because these were only like 25 bucks i'm gonna return them because i don't have a use for them but i was like hey maybe i could like you know i could mount them up here and then i could have uploading up lighting on this stand too but i was like eh, it's too much wires all these wires are like fixed like i can't cut them and like make them shorter so i'm like i'm not trying to have all that hanging out there um plus like that just honestly looks cluttered but uh yeah so i need to clean up um i need to start packing like all these random decorations like the mr and mrs thing that is right here that's gonna go on our oh god i don't want to cut them up but that's gonna go on our uh you know gift table or decorations table mr so i'm gonna start putting all this stuff in boxes guys i need to clean this house i'm on shutdown from now until next friday oh. and next week i am cleaning the hell out of this house and it is gonna look empty by the time we're done with it Whew. also i got my cooler in here just so we can have like more shelves that like you know set stuff on oh my goodness